Okay, 28 Cedarwood in Milledgeville. Really nice four level side split here. Uh, large master bedroom, hardwood on the upper level and main level as well. Big rec room, uh, family room on the third level and then a rec room kind of uh, place to get away on the fourth with storage, lots of storage too. Uh, very nice private lot. I'll tell you something about it here in the backyard. It backs on to Samuel de Champlain um, school grounds. So really can't see there's going to be any development in the backyard. Very private. Uh, way off in the distance, right there, that's the regional hospital in St. John's. So, you know, very short drive away. And um, junior, junior high school, middle school, and also um, K to 12 French immersion. K to 12 French immersion is walking distance, probably, mm, I'm gonna say 700 meters away, about 900 meters away is a uh, middle school, Millersville North. And then uh, you can't really see it, but just kind of on the other side of that large condominium complex is uh, a ju or sorry, an elementary school as well. So uh, not a bad house. Uh, roof's been replaced here within the last 10 years. I'm gonna take you inside. Driveway's in really good shape. I know that they had this portion replaced, I think because they had to put in a new culvert and everything else. But uh, nice, uh, you know, nice side entrance here. I'll take you, actually, I'm gonna take you and show you the, um, the backyard here first. Just give you a little peek. Kind of like a wood walkway system here. There's um, concrete patio for basketball and that really large deck and a nice big private backyard. And walk you up there. Uh, good slope on the backyard. Big, big maple tree. I'll zoom you out a little bit there. Big maple tree. There's the back of the house there. So I, I would say it's not terraced, but there's a bench up here, if you will. Property goes back in amongst the grass there, probably about 20 feet. There's a little shed right there. So there's a bench here, very slight slope down to a nice flat area. All the drainage runs away from the house. And again, just zooming out here, it's about a hundred and some odd acres that's all wooded that is owned by uh, the French Immersion School. Can't really see there being any development there. That door right there leads into your garage. I'll show you that here in a second. Um, you got a concrete sono tubes holding up this deck. The deck surface itself, a lot of it's been replaced to my knowledge here within the last few years. So new decking rail around the side, all new decking here. I think the joist system itself though, while it's not original, I can't brag and say that it's really new, new. And it looks green, but there's no rot in it. I think it's just green because it's pressure treated wood and it's also underneath so I'll take you around, go around the front here and have a little peek. Great residential area, Milledgeville is arguably the number one place to live in all of St. John. Many people wanna be here. Not a lot of people can afford it. Good concrete coming up. Now there's technically no porch or or deck here if you just wanted to remove this and put a very uh, low uh, low slope deck you could actually easily have this so that it uh, was enclosed these pillars I don't even know if they're structural regardless they're up on concrete sauna tube anyway there's the side of the house right there good slope away 200 amp entrance and well, we'll take you inside so pretty typical of a four level side split you have a large foyer entrance area 
There's also an entrance from the garage on the third level. So coat closet, straight ahead, kitchen, eat-in kitchen, but it's it's big. Pocket doors here, which are kind of nice. So uh, all hardwood flooring, really good size living room. I do have this zoomed out a little bit so that it gives you a better impression on how things actually look. That's an accent wall, it's wood and stained. Uh, older um, wood casement windows, still pretty good shape. Nice big dining room here. And again, another pocket door going into your kitchen. Kitchen's got a good size pantry, little cubby here for the microwave. Propane stove, rain hood uh, that goes and is vented outside. Um, the cabinetry itself was refaced, so it's solid wood cabinets, and the doors were all redone, but it's good, it's solid, um, that is, uh, ceramic backsplash, ceramic and ga uh, glass, uh, backsplash, Corian sink, laminate, um, Countertops, you know, pretty decent views out here, right onto the deck area itself. That deck has got to be like 24 by 16. And so you could certainly put a kitchen table here, but it, it makes it certain, you know, like it's far more open concept if, um, you know, if it's just left this way. There's your kitchen. Nice kitchen. Um... Bosch, this is a Frigidaire. And that there is GE, all stainless though. And so, okay, uh, that's the main level. Nice walk in, I'll show you this here, but I'm gonna take you upstairs first. So the hardwood stair treads were replaced. They were carpeted plywood. They were all replaced here three or four years ago. Hardwood flooring on this level, master bedroom there, full bath, two bedrooms. So I'll show you these two bedrooms. Bedroom number one, really good size. Final window in that one. Bedroom number two, you can easily fit a double bed in here. Again, that's uh, another vinyl window. Uh, bathroom, flooring's original, but that tub just got replaced here about five years ago. The vanity is original, although it's been painted, but the countertops and everything were replaced backsplash around it uh that's a double vanity definitely a, a good size uh, bathroom right there uh that that zoomed out makes it look a lot um a lot smaller than what it is that is a really deep tub it's like almost two feet deep so hardwood flooring linen closet right here going into master bedroom that is a king size bed it's got a little cat right up at the top there so king size bed but you've got nightstands on either side of it so really good size you can easily put a large dresser there you can put a uh, a stand-up dresser here but you also have this wall space there that is almost four feet so lots of room for a dresser there this bathroom was complete gut job so new tile the old shower, which was tiny, was ripped out. It had a double vanity, went to a single vanity. And uh, again, that's all brand new. Nice, good size. Hardwood flooring's in excellent shape. And a uh, pretty good walk-in closet too, with some storage kind of bump in into the back there. So this, yeah, that's the master bedroom. So three bedrooms up, living room, dining room, big kitchen, going on the third level, hardwood floors here too. So this room right now, it's, it's just um, a staging area for stuff that's gonna be moved. But this is a really large family room. There is a fireplace back here, functioning fireplace, wood, not propane. That's it right there. Just kind of covered up because they've 
got some other stuff and it's just a regular fireplace it's not uh, it's not a fireplace insert right but very very large room pocket doors here as well glass pocket doors so half bath powder room again original flooring but it's good like it's nice ceramic flooring on concrete that's been painted that's new uh new countertop there though and uh backsplash as well a couple linen closets or broom closets if you will this room here definitely a bedroom if you wish for it to be it could easily be an office that's laminate flooring that laminate flooring matches that stuff and the tone of it is or the color is more or less like the color of the other rooms and again you know not a bad size room easily fit a single bed in there probably even a double um good ceramic tile here it's on concrete you have a floor drain get your laundry room with a bunch of storage you have a coat closet this is entrance into your garage which i'll show you here in a second you've got a whole bunch of other storage there big stand-up freezer and then walking out to your garage so two car garage one two three four five steps up and big workbench in the back easily fit two cars in here especially if some of this stuff here the larger stuff is just moved there normally that kind of stuff would be out in your shed anyway but you've got a big workbench that's your walk outdoor into the backyard that steps just like that right onto that concrete patio basketball in that area lots of room for kids gardening pets all that good stuff so there's your garage uh, automatic garage door opener opens up no issues anyway whatsoever and so again you kind of walk out of here and go right into there cat door so that's the third level going into the fourth level here right now these are uh, softwood kind of pine stair treads and I would say this level here, it's just, it's understaged, but it's actually a really large area. So this, this could easily be just a, a getaway place. There is a door right up there. You could shut yourself off from the rest of the house. That would be underneath the living room. So, uh, you know, definitely a really good uh, place for somebody to get away. Huge storage area, air exchange system, central vac system, concrete. Everything's in really good shape. There is a window there. It's been blocked off, though, so that uh, that's right underneath the deck. Normally, you wouldn't have a need for access here anyway. And you do have another floor drain, which I really like the idea of. A uh, hot water tank and just some general storage here. A little bit of the construction on plywood floors, 2 by 10 uh, yeah, two by 10, 16 inch centers. Uh, that's your panel here. I'll show you that in a second. This is more like a fancy uh, double double rung for coats, winter coats, stuff like that. And anything like Christmas ornaments, whatever stuff that you, you want to make sure stays nice and dry. Get a 200 amp panel here. And uh, all your wiring is like labeled done nicely and that's about it so this just needs better staging but obviously it's a really good room from that wall over to that wall is about 16 feet so you know it's a good size room probably 20 20 by 16 right there so storage man cave girl cave Big, big, big storage area. Coming back up. Bedroom. Laundry, storage, coat closet, walking into your garage. Half bathroom. Big family room, all above grade. Uh, like as far as the windows go with a wood fireplace there. Again, more hardwood stair treads. 
front foyer, coat closet, living room, big kitchen. No, not, that's definitely quite nice. Dining room there. All kinds of storage. Missing door up there. It's actually not missing. They just got to get it adjusted because the new refrigerator went in above it. And then just to recap. Bedroom one. Bedroom two. Full bathroom. It's got the same style of uh, countertop. And then king size bed, master bedroom. Walk-in closet and bath with a stand-up shower and a ceramic towel. Rain shower head. That's that. Appreciate the interest. And I hope you have a nice day. I'll be talking to you soon.